Hi. Hey guys. So the QHY Polemaster was released about three years ago and we are definitely late to the party. We didn't plan to buy this um, at all, but uh, OPT, which we are partnered with since last year, uh, loaned it to us for a few months so we could try it out. And we did manage to take a short video. This happened a couple weeks ago. We were both very sick. It was super duper cold. We were freezing and we just wanted to get out of there. But during the video, we didn't balance our telescope and use the pole master. And honestly, it made all the difference. So sorry in advance for the sick voice you will hear in the video. It's really bad. But um, anyway, so in the second half of the video, you will see us try it again on a different night, uh, on a more relaxed night without rushing or anything, and our guiding got even better and better and better, so it's pretty awesome, you'll see. So if you have seen our Halloween video with, uh, with the big spider and stuff, uh, you might have seen that our guiding was really bad that day. Um, and if you follow us for a while now, you might have seen that often our guiding is, you know, is okay, but it, like the curve is really, really bad. So tonight we're going to try the Pole Master, which is a very, very famous uh, way to uh, to polar align and with this normally you would be able to achieve perfect polar alignment uh, easily using a laptop. So we're going to try that tonight uh, for the first time and see if there's an improvement in guiding. So I'm going to attach this to the to the mount. It attaches at this, uh, in the front and uh, yeah it's pretty much a camera that connects to your computer. So let's try. The setup is right here. So as you can see here, we have a come here. we have a uh, adapter here for the Atlas mount, which is our mount. So you will need your own adapter depending on your mount, uh, and then you can easily attach it right here. Uh, the manual says to attach it like this or like this. I don't remember. Like I think they want us to attach this like to the left side. I think, but I'm gonna try like that just in you know just to see if it works. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. So we'll see. And then just make sure it's tight. And here you can uncover the camera. By the way, the mount is already like roughly polar aligned, like really roughly, like Polaris is in there, so it's fine. So here is the, the camera. And uh, then we have the computer here. So I'm going to just plug that into the computer, which is a very old and slow computer, but it's fine. And just turn it on. So we'll see if it works. It's gonna take a while to turn on. Just gonna do this here. Let's stop it. So the laptop is on now. Hopefully it'll be useful to us. I I don't know. It's really cold. Yeah, I think it's. I think it will be good. I mean, it would be funny if our guiding is even worse, but <laughs> hopefully this will help. So, let's try. So the Pole Master actually comes with its own app. It's called the Pole Master app, and you just download it onto your computer so you can polar align easily. It's too, it's too loud. So uh, I guess I'm just going to connect and just follow the instructions. Uh, I'll let you guys know. Uh, you can see my light over here. Uh, I'll let you guys know if uh, this is easy or not. I guess Polaris is right there, as you can see. Uh, I won't show you the whole process because I'm sure there is a bunch of videos already on that and I don't want to waste your time. But it's going to be very easy to do. Uh, I already watched a few videos, like Chuck's video, for example. And it's very really, uh, straightforward. So I'm going to go through it really quick and uh, see if it works. Okay, so this is the last step. Um, as you can see here, it's, it's asking me to just play with the knobs to make sure the, the green square is perfectly inside the red square, the red circle. I mean, it's pretty much on there. It's just a bit windy right now, so it's jumping around. So I'm guessing it's fine. Uh, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm, it's not perfect, but I'm sure it's fine. It's just a bit windy, so. And now I can close that and completely turn off. Uh, I should have disconnected first, but I can completely turn off the the software and uh, unplug everything. So that's done. Normally we are pull our line perfectly. Okay, we are both freezing to death here. But thankfully we have a blanket. So 
the guiding is now on and as you can see it's not perfect but it's much better than um than it regularly is yeah it's, it's much better like usually we have spikes that go like almost out of the screen like almost uh, like that but wow it's really good and we went through the polar element really really quick we did not want to uh we didn't want to waste time because it was so cold and we went like super super rushed yeah today tonight it was supposed to be as low as 30 degrees uh, fahrenheit so that's like zero celsius basically so it's really cold and both of us are recovering from being sick so great uh, you can hear us i'm sure our voice is kind of weird but but yeah look, the guiding is really nice so we're gonna see what this first uh frame looks like after 50 seconds and uh, i'll show you guys Okay, so we have one second left, it's downloading, I'm gonna take off that. And this, let's see what it looks like. Wow! Okay, not bad. So, let me turn off the lights on my on my head. Turn your light off. Okay, so what do we have here? Andromeda, duh, obviously. But are the stars pinpoint? That's the question. Let's zoom in. So as you can see, the stars are really nice, very point point. I mean, this is a pretty wide angle anyway, but but still, I mean, because we're using the mead, right? On this one, yeah. But the guiding is. Hmm. Here is a quick walkthrough of how to use the pole master and what it does. You attach it to your mount using an adapter. It replaces the cap of the polar finder. The manual says to attach it with a cable hanging to the left, but we don't really care and it works either way. Plug it into your laptop and launch the software. We won't show you the actual steps because, as we mentioned, there are tons of videos about it on YouTube already. But in short, if your mount is roughly polar aligned, then you should see Polaris on your screen. Just follow the instructions and you'll end up having to center the star in the little circle. If you're like us and always image from a different spot, then you'll have to play with the latitude bolts and azimuth knobs. When done, you don't need to keep it on the mount and you can put it away so you don't have to worry about any extra cables. That night, we achieved the best guiding we ever had. I don't know about you, but I have no intention of returning this. I mean, I agree. Uh, just tell them that we'll buy it, because it's a must-have. Yes, we ended up buying the Pole Master. We just wish we did that three years ago. Well. Better late than never. We'll see you guys in the next video. Clear skies.